Another big game tonight for Energy FC as they host Los Dos just two days after a 2-1 loss to Arizona United. The LA Galaxy 2 come to town. The Energy 0 for 3 against the Galaxy this season so far will pick it up in the first half. In the 19th minute, a set piece for the Galaxy and Daniel Stairs puts it into the net. The Energy give up a goal early in the match for the third straight game. Fast forward to the 75th minute when Bradford Jamison the fourth breaks freeze all alone, but Samir Bader there to make the save to keep it a 1-0 game. Then in the 90th minute, Bradley Diallo gets his second yellow on the night he would be done. Galaxy down a man for the five minutes of stoppage time added to the game energy with several chances late in this one, but fall 1-0 to the Galaxy and lose their third straight game down the final stretch of the season. Not the result we wanted, and I think we, we, we started too slow again. Uh, it took us a long time to, to get into the game, and uh, I felt that LA were, were in control. Uh, what I was missing was that fire in the eyes from, from my guys from, from the beginning. Um, I saw that the last 15 minutes, but I didn't see it from, from the beginning. Yeah, it's a big disappointment. It's been a disappointing three days, that's for sure. I um, thought we defended well as a team for most of the game. You know, they had possession, but they, they're a good team and they're good at keeping the ball. But we switched off, made a mistake, and against good teams, that's going to get you punished. And unfortunately, that's what happened. I think uh, it's very disappointing. Um, we're disappointed. I know Jimmy is, uh, and, and we should be. Um, again, if we can, if we can tune in from the fir from the beginning and not give up those early goals. Then we allow, we give ourselves a chance, um, you know. And when we've done that this year, we've we've given ourselves chances to win games. In other news tonight, former Energy FC Loney John Kimpen making his first MLS start in Kansas City for Sporting KC. He becomes the youngest goalkeeper to start a game in Sporting KC history. I'm happy for him, and you know the guys that are here should use that as a motivation. You know, it's not far away from from USL to the MLS. Uh, we are affiliated with Kansas City. If guys are stepping up and performing on a consistent basis, yeah, they will get called up. Uh, but you know, it's been too much up and down, up and down, and uh, that's what's hurting us right now. You know, there, I, th I personally think we have a, a very high level, but the bottom level is too low as well. With only four games left on this season. The Energy will head on the road on Friday night to face Arizona United SC. The Energy in danger of dropping out of a playoff spot with their recent streak. Then on Sunday, it's the final home game of the season as the Charleston Battery come to town. That's a 7 o'clock kick. Tickets still available for, for that one by calling 235-KICK or visiting energyfc.com. Reporting from Pribble Stadium in Oklahoma City, Carter Baum, Energy FC TV.